Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we got a lot of news to talk about. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Uh, we got a lot of news from E3 and I just want to go over them real quick to make sure that everybody knows what's going to happen for the two year anniversary and what's going to come for the rest of the month of June, July and hopefully for August. So, <clears throat> one more thing. Guys, thank you so much for all the new subscribers on the channel, uh, for commenting on my last video on the polling for CG Nicole, you guys are amazing. Please keep it up. We're gonna reach the goal. We're gonna reach the goal, guys. Uh, on that note, you guys can see right here, I got on the side. Uh, we're gonna go over the things we can see. Second year anniversary, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, Just Cause 3 collab. Uh, next week, starting on June 22nd, let me check my uh, calendar real fast. Yeah, starting on June 22nd, so on the Friday, uh, we're going to have an event collab of uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus and Just Cause 3. Uh, they didn't go over what we're going to be doing, but this is pretty cool. I'm really anxious since the last good collab that I find was pretty pretty much the best was uh, the one with Tomb Raider where we got Explorer Eileen. And let's close this one right here. You guys are going to be able to pull for Mr. Rico Rodriguez right here. He looks really cool. Uh, I can't wait to see the sprite on the character, the way he moves, the attack and everything. So that's going to be one really, really cool thing. And you guys will be able to summon his friends also. So you guys can see right here, this guy with the bazooka, uh, machine gun, and this guy with the SMG. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I love when they do collabs like that. Uh, it makes the game a little bit more interesting. And you know what? It's fun to see that they're using different games. Not only RPGs that they're using third-person uh, world where you know it just causes just basically a game of just do whatever you want make everything explode shoot everything just blow up an helicopter with a grappling hood so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so that's gonna happen next week on june 22nd you guys will you guys will be able to pull for mr Ro mr rico rodriguez and all his friends moving on to the next one we're gonna cover the news that we got from e3 a little bit more uh, special login rewards. So you guys can see right here, June daily rewards. Uh, hopefully you guys logged in into the game every day in June to get these rewards. So uh, we got the five star 30% chance ticket. Uh, we're gonna get the 10 plus one ticket at the end of the month. Then in July, we're gonna get another five percent, uh, five star 30% chance to get a ticket, uh, a rainbow, and we're gonna get a 10 plus one with a guaranteed rainbow in it so that's really 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 cool uh i can't wait for that one you know just being able to guarantee a rainbow and a 10 plus one that's really cool then we're gonna keep going second anniversary uh countdown reward we will get a five star ex ticket so another rainbow see they're being really really generous on that two year anniversary and last uh, special word we're gonna get a 10 plus 1 ticket and they're gonna be all four star so in that ticket whenever you pull it's gonna be all four star and you're not guaranteed a rainbow but just knowing that you're gonna get 11 four stars that's really good so you're not gonna see any blue on that ticket so that's pretty pretty amazing so that's one thing we're gonna get in July so keep logging in every single day to get all these goodies um, we're gonna move on to the next one so player support campaign this is what we're gonna give uh second year anniversary if you guys are playing the game right now every day you are getting some stuff and this is what it's going on <coughs> sorry as i'm choking because i'm talking way too fast wired for another day so second anniversary giveaway we're gonna get free daily summon so it's always good so more summons for free a 50% trust Moogle. So basically the way this one is going to work in the story, if you get to a certain point, uh, they will reward you with a 50% trust Moogle. So like uh, they did at the end of the first season, when you finish the whole story on season one, you get 100% Moogle. This one, if you make it to the, let's say, halfway mark in the season, they're going to give us a 50% trust Moogle, which is really, really sick uh, since, you know, Trust Moogles are early welcome to get those Trust Masters up a little bit faster. So that's really good. We're going to get a friend point campaign. I hope, seriously, they didn't talk much about it, but I hope they do like they did before, where you're able to summon 5% uh, Moogles for your units with the friend points. So hopefully they're going to come back with this because that would be amazing. 
uh, half energy campaign always good so if you guys want to go forward in the story that's always good to do uh, amazing enhancements so you're going to be able to level up your char your characters a little bit uh, faster having great success or amazing success then in uh, the vortex they're going to bring the enchanted maze they're going to bring an extra stage uh, they didn't talk much about it but you guys will get an extra stage in the enchanted maze so that's pretty pretty cool moving on that one is actually really nice. So, second year anniversary ticket campaign. Uh, the way they explain this one, so by June 27th, we're gonna have maintenance. So all the lapis that you spent before June 27th uh, in summons, you're gonna be rewarded a three-star ticket. So minimum, it's like a regular summon ticket. So you're gonna get, uh, for every 5K lapis you spent in the game, you're gonna get one ticket. For every 50k lapis you spent, you're gonna get a 4 star ticket. So let's say you spent uh, right here, well 50k is 10 times 5, so you're gonna get 10 summon tickets and 1 4 star ticket. So that's really good. So if I'm not mistaken, the way they said it, it's basically from the day you started playing this game. So if you played the game for 2 years and you've been spending a lot of moolah on this game, well you're gonna get a lot of tickets out of it. So that's really really cool. Uh, free lapis included so it's not only the lapis you bought it's also the lapis you got in game that you spent on summons <coughs> sorry ooh that cough uh, basically if you guys didn't pull Nicole or something like that and you have some lapis well maybe you can use that lapis to get some tickets or maybe you can keep that lapis that's up to you but that's nonetheless that's really really cool what they're doing right here and that's gonna happen at the end of July so we're gonna get a lot of tickets uh, that second year anniversary is gonna be really really cool. I can't wait for all of the things we're gonna get So that's number one number two Player vote campaign, so that's gonna happen in game. Uh, you're gonna be able to vote for something uh, Out of the four so for one month you're gonna have the enchanted maze with the trust Moogle version so I guess you're gonna be getting trust Moogles for one month or for one month you're gonna get daily free summon with a 5% drop rate for rainbows. I would personally tell everybody to go for that because we're already getting the free daily summons. Plus, if we do this one, we're gonna get another free daily summon with a higher chance to get rainbows. So that's really, really, really good. Uh, number three, chance of getting five times more XP when fusing cactuars. Whatever, you're just gonna make your characters level up a little bit faster. But number two, the daily free summon is really, really nice. And uh, the last one, for one month, it's gonna last. Uh, a thousand lapis added to a weekly reward of expedition. Uh, that's pretty good, but still, if you calculate all the free daily summons, if you do, let's say, a daily every day, well, that at the end of the week, it's after four days, it's already 1k lapis. So at the end of the week, you just it's free it's a total of a uh, thousand seven hundred and fifty free uh, lapis that you just spent on summons so that's number two you guys just go for number two having a higher chance to get rainbow it's always good and the voting for august campaign will start in late june so probably after maintenance on the 27 you guys will be able to vote for the august and september campaign um <clears throat> i know that's a lot of things we're gonna move on to this one right here so strengthen your weapons that's another thing they talked about mid july uh the way it's gonna work really simple you see the weapons right here you're gonna go into the vortex i guess uh it's gonna work a little bit like the raid system where you're gonna have orbs and you're gonna have 10 levels each time you beat the level the weapon that you got technically will get a new uh ability on so as you're leveling up in uh the stages let's say your weapon is getting new abilities every time and if i'm not mistaken when you reach stage 10 the last you're gonna get three abilities on the weapon and they're gonna be random so everything is always rng it's basically like uh, diablos or uh, any other game like that where you can get random drop weapons for stuff like that so that's really cool that's another way uh they're gonna explain a little bit better i guess uh, but that's another way to get your weapons a little bit stronger or a little bit different and they're gonna be different for everybody so uh, my omni rod will be different than somebody else's omni rod so that's really really cool <coughs> and I can't wait for them to put more details on that or yeah 
that's uh, that's really nice. That's a uh, that's a way to make your weapons a little bit stronger. Also, uh, then we're gonna get a new version of the app in mid July, and in that new version, they talked about this right here. So you're gonna be able to select a total of 99 Jack Tours when leveling up a unit. So instead of taking, let's say, your lightning, your 17 lightning and taking 5 cactuars, well now you're going to be able to select 99 cactuars or 55 depending on which ones you have and you're going to be able to level up one shot which is a lot more faster a lot more faster, a lot faster, you don't need to put more Dave uh, a lot faster so that's going to be really really cool uh, another one right here, you're going to be able to fuse your cactuars and your pots together so uh, less unit inventory taken uh, by all these cactuars. So let's say you have 10 giant cactuars. Well, you fuse them together and it makes a super giant cactuar. So that's really good. That's another thing we're going to get. And I can't wait for this. This is going to be super, super useful. And uh, the last one, yeah, <coughs> the reload button. So the way it works, you guys can see right here, uh, reset button will become the reload button. Really, really simple. Uh, let's say you're using, I don't know, uh, double Shantoto and you're doing Tornado on turn one. Turn two, instead of reselecting, like let's say swiping, taking dual cast Tornado, then taking your second Shantoto, dual cast Tornado, well, if you press the reload button, they will basically choose the ability, they, choose the, uh, they chose the, to uh, the turn before, and you're gonna be able to cast them whenever you want. So uh, when you press repeat, it basically does exactly the same move that they did before. They cast it and boom, 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 bad chaining. The way the reload button works is you press reload, the abilities are selected on your characters, but they do not use them. You have to literally manually press on your characters to chain them. So that's really, really good. Uh, it's gonna be saving a little bit of time every time you have to you know, just select, let's say, uh, Kuraga one turn and then uh, dual cast that Shantoto uh, Tornado. So that's going to be really good. Can't wait for that reload button. It's going to be so useful, especially on the raid where you just finish killing the boss, you press reload and then you chain your characters again and you just beat the boss a second time. So that's for the reload button. We're going to get this probably in mid-July. Uh, big update. They also spoke about Everybody on the global side is going to be really happy. Uh, they're going to try to shorten the maintenance also. So they said they want to cut the maintenance by half. And hopefully that means that you're going to be able to play the game a little bit faster. And that maintenance, it's not going to last like 12 hours. So that's really, really, really cool. Uh, anything else? Because I wrote a lot of stuff here. Uh, no, that's it. So last one, uh, we actually got two more. Uh, so the units that were given out in the Fan Festa 2017, uh, they are gonna give it to the people in Global. So even if you did not attend Fan Festa in 2017, well, you're gonna be able to get those units. Nothing special, but they look pretty cool. So that's one more thing that they're giving us for free, and can't complain about that. Then, 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 this is probably the most exciting one. Uh, this right here, Seven Star Awakening. So if you guys have a lot of a lot of dupes of certain units. Uh, they spoke real fast about the seven star. Is it gonna come at the end of uh, at the end of July? I I think personally it's gonna be maybe come at the mid August or at the end of August. But nonetheless, guys, if you're getting dupes, keep them because seven star is coming real soon, and these characters are gonna get a lot stronger. Uh, Three lightnings, I mean, you can get her super TMR, which is, uh, I think it's 176 or 170 sword. Uh, they become really, really strong. They become so much better, guys. So, seven star is coming real soon, uh, maybe in a month, month and a half or two. Be patient, because once these seven stars come out, we're going to be able to do even more, more, more damage. Uh, also, did I forget one? Uh, I think I did forget one. I didn't get the picture here. Um, basically, at the end of uh, at the beginning of September, we're gonna get another event with uh, Dragon Quest. So the second part of Dragon Quest is coming. So you guys will be able to summon for uh, what's his name? Kafri no, not Kafrizel. Dragon Lord. So if you didn't summon Dragon Lord the first time that he came out, well, he's gonna be on the banner a second time. So in September, you guys will be able to summon for Dragon Lord and also new units from the Dragon Quest universe and. Because there's one more, and I like saying hand, and Fan Festa 2018 
Uh, it's going to be in California. So if you guys want to attend that, well, you have right here two days in California. So that's going to be pretty cool. But let's go back to the, yeah, that seven star. That seven star is really good. Uh, guys, are you guys excited about uh, July? I think I am. It's going to be a lot of good news for the game. Uh, a lot of new stuff. Please stay tuned. Guys, if you enjoyed this uh, video, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Leave also some comments on the bottom, whatever you want, whatever, if you're happy. All right, guys, peace.